Okay, so what we're going to uh, run through here is how to um, work with adjustment layers um, to desaturate parts of the image rather than the entire image, so to kind of highlight part of the image. We'll also look at some levels adjustments and how we can use that um, to maybe in, in this image just kind of tweak the uh, the yellows and the, the kind of reds in the image um, just to kind of bring them to where we want them to be. Okay, so first of all we're going to add uh, the levels adjustment um, and we're just going to have a, a look um, at our histograms here to see um, how they kind of flow. So there's quite a lot of red um, in some of the highlights of this image and um, so we might try and pull those down just a little bit so it's not um, quite such a, an intense kind of saturation in the, the highlights. Okay, and we can do that um, with our levels adjustments by uh, switching to the red uh, channel here and just moving this midpoint to kind of bring those reds uh, down a bit in the highlights. Okay, now you can see that as I do that, my image becomes a bit more uh, green um, and blue. So I'm just going to pull those down just a touch, just very slightly, um, and then move to the the blues and just try and pull those up to kind of neutralize the image a little bit. Okay, So this is my uh, before image and I've just kind of pulled it down um, a little bit. Okay, But I've still got lots of the color left in there. Now if I feel like I've overdone that color adjustment a little bit but I don't want to play too too much with the, the balance of the reds, greens and blues, I can also um, just kind of modify that um, by playing um, with the layer itself. So once I've added a color adjustment, I can reduce the intensity of that adjustment by changing the opacity um, in here. Okay. So if I drop the opacity, say down to 20%, I kind of pull back in some of that original color and I can just keep moving until I feel happy with what I've got. Okay. So that's the original image and then that's the color adjusting image which is a bit too much so I'm going to leave it around somewhere around 40-50% I think opacity there okay so it's just kind of moderating the, the effect so the next thing I want to do is actually highlight this uh, subject in the foreground so this sandwich okay and I'm going to do that by desaturating um, the parts of the image other parts of the image in the background here okay so I'm going to add a new adjustment layer Okay, this time a hue saturation adjustment layer. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to desaturate the entire image and then paint back in um, some of the bits of the image that I want to have color in them um, using the layer mask um, here to kind of show and hide um, the effect of this hue and saturation. Okay, so I'm going to pull the saturation right down um, here so the background of this image um, is almost completely black and white so it's pushed it right back okay now when I'm adding um, any changes um, in here I want to make sure that I've got the the right layer mask selected so you can see that it's got these four kind of bold corners on the edge of it and that highlights that the layer mask for my hue and saturation layer is the one that's actually highlighted okay okay so once we've got that layer highlighted we'll grab the brush tool. We'll make sure for this that um, our, the black is our foreground color. Okay, and we want a nice uh, soft brush. So we'll just come up to our brush options up at the top here and we're gonna pull the hardness um, right down. And you can see my brush is quite small on uh, the canvas here. So I'm gonna pull the brush size, um, not that big, right up, okay. Um, we can modify the brush size here and um, we can also modify the brush size by right clicking um, in the uh, canvas and then changing the size here too. Okay. So, okay, so now we're ready to start painting back in. So here we can just start to paint back in uh, some of that original colour. And the way that this mask works is that we can paint uh, white into uh, show uh, this adjustment and black into hide it. Okay, that 
uh, kind of effect will depend on uh, what kind of layer you're using, as to whether you want to show or hide the effect. Um, but what it does mean is that if we make a mistake and kind of run over the edge there, we can swap these colors round and paint the white back into that layer mask so we can correct any mistakes that we made. Okay, so it's a um, you know a non-destructive way of editing an image. Um, I'm going to use a shortcut on the keyboard, which is uh, just above the Enter key, which is the left and right square brackets, and that allows me to increase and decrease the size of my brush. So I just want to get in here just to kind of you know, modify that. Now, if I was going to be sending this image out uh, to print, I might spend a lot of time making sure my edges look just right, but because we're just going to uh, assume this is a web-based image, we don't need to spend lots and lots of time adjusting uh, the edges. But the, the soft edge brush really allows for you to make a few mistakes, and like not to be totally perfect at the edge. Okay. Now, if we wanted to modify the color in the background of this image, um, just to kind of maybe bring the saturation back up, we can do the same here. We can modify the opacity of that uh, layer to kind of pull back in some of the saturation of the original image. So we can, now that we've made the mask and we've painted it in, we can use the saturation, the opacity to kind of uh, get it just how we'd want it. So it doesn't look too uh, faked, if you like, which is obviously what we're doing. Okay. So a bit more color, a bit less color. I think around about there is it's just right. Okay. So nice highlighted part of the image. Um, we could kind of keep going with different adjustment layers if we wanted to maybe put out this red a bit more um, and so on and so forth. But you can see how the layers work and how we can turn them on and off to see if what we've done um, is uh, effective. 